Today on Wii, we return once again to 4G Wi-Fi to compare the B311 Home Fi to the B535 Home Fi Plus. The video you guys have been asking me for for a while, so let's get straight into it and see exactly what the difference is. So yes, welcome back ladies and gentlemen to another video and it's 4G Wi-Fi yet again. Um, I teased this in my previous video which you can find in the description down below as well as all the other 4G videos on this channel. Uh, basically the story is I have a 4G hub, I have the Huawei B311 is sitting up there behind me. Um, I've had it for a while now, nearly two years, which means I'm nearly to the end of my contract. However, I did convince my family, who live in the rest of the house downstairs, to get their own one, and they got the newer model, the B535. And today we're going to put those together, because that's what you guys have been asking me for ever since I uploaded the last video. So, without further ado, let's get into the comparison and the testing. So before we get into anything like speed test, let's have a look at the hardcore data and the actual differences between these two routers. As you can see, I've displayed them both lovely on the screen for you and I'll actually list them off right now. So the B311 is a category four LTE hub. Uh, it can support up to 150 download and 50 upload. However, the 535 is a category seven LTE which means it can support up to your 300 download speeds and 100 upload speeds. So you can see there's quite an already immediate difference in that. The devices that it can have, the Home Fi, the B311 can have only 32 devices, whereas the B535 can have up to 64. The major difference, however, that people are really interested in is the fact that the Home, the home Fi B311 is a 2.4 gigahertz router, whereas, or router hub, people get annoyed when I call them routers, uh, it's a but the B535 is a dual band hub and it can support both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz devices and things uh, and bands. Uh, so as you can see, that's much more open to all ranges of devices, much more connectability there and just all better. Uh, other things that you might want to notice is that the B311 only has one single Ethernet port, whereas the 535 has four. So if you are going to run a bunch of computers off it, say you live in a house with four other people and you all have your own desktop and you want to connect to it, or you want to hook it up to your games console or whatever, you can all do that uh, without any major issues uh, and without having to buy any kind of divider to put in there first. So that is the major difference between these two hubs. You can see the B535 is a major step up from the B311. There's a pretty good reason for this because the B311 is now completely discontinued. Uh, 3 no longer offer it, Huawei no longer offer it, is because the B535 is the next generation of that router so, oh, hub. People are going to get really annoyed that I keep calling it a router, um, but you know what I mean anyway. Um, so basically you probably cannot buy my one anymore um, unless you maybe might be fine on eBay on Amazon perhaps someone is selling it but you definitely won't be able to get it from Huawei and you definitely won't be able to get it from 3 um, and why would you want to anyway because the newer one is obviously loads better so get that one uh, why would you want to buy my one unless you're absolutely desperate to have one that is black and not white but I think the white one looks better anyway uh, so yeah let's anyway get to the point where you are all here and test the speeds. Now I'm going to do this in front of each uh, hub rather than just from my room because basically I'm much closer to this one than I am to the one downstairs so if I did it from here it would be an unfair test. Um, I'm going to each do the test twice so we can get a bit of just an average in between because obviously speeds do fluctuate up and down everything's not the same all the time um, and yeah let's get on with the test starting with the one behind me. Ah uh, so it's a lovely day out here in the British countryside, but we are here with the B311 and I'm using Ookla on my phone to test it. I know it's not ideal, but this is the best way I can do it and film it. And I'm now using the camera audio as well. So please, uh, let's see. So let's go. This is the download test. Number one, we see we've got 35, 36, all the way up to 40 now. Yeah, going pretty strong at the moment. Pretty much what I'd expect. I see we're going to break 50. Yes, we broke 50. Very nice, as you can see, 51.62 is the download test for this one. Um, however, Ookla doesn't offer a upload test, so I'm gonna have to do that one separately um, and give it to you in a minute once I've actually uh, finished recording this. So yes, that was my one. So now we're gonna go downstairs to do the other one. And now we are downstairs with the B535 once again on Ookla. Test us away, Ookla. Show us your magical dreams. 
Okay. Whoa. Okay, that's a bigger increase, isn't it? Let's be honest. All right, that's more than I thought it was going to be. Woo. Dear. All right, that's putting mine to shame at the moment. Dear, oh dear. Well. Damn. That is a big number. Oh. So yes, the speeds were very different, but beginning with the B311, obviously we had a download of 51.62 with a ping of 55 and the upload that you didn't see, unfortunately, because I didn't remember that Ookla actually only did upload, sorry, download, um, was 21.62 as well. Um, so yeah, pretty average there. Still better than your average broadband, uh, perhaps not quite up to speed anymore with what for, uh, oh, I can't talk today. Uh, probably not quite up to speed with fiber broadband anymore, but once again, as we said, discontinued hub, older. Uh, we don't expect it to be as quick as the modern things are. Whereas, onto the other one, and we have 109.65, that's almost twice. Uh, actually, it's, it's more than twice, isn't it? It's more than twice uh, as quick as uh, the other one. Um, the ping is slightly higher, but obviously that fluctuates up and down, so I wouldn't look into that too much. The down, uh, the upload came in at about 26.7. Uh, so as you can see, there are improvements there. Um, obviously the download speed being the major improvement, uh, more than twice as quick, um, which is not surprising because obviously that one, the B311 Category 4, Sport 150, Category 7, Sport 300. So you'd expect it to be twice the same, whereas the difference between the uploads wasn't as much. So, uh, you know, you didn't expect such a great difference. So things to consider from this. Obviously, the B535 is the newest version. You can not you can get that one. You cannot get my one anymore unless you find it for somewhere else, but I don't know why you'd want to anyway. Um, three still offer deals on these. I'm still obviously on these. Both of the three offer the ones for the one downstairs and the one here. They're both on three contracts. They're both on the same contract, 24 month contract at 31 pounds per month, unlimited data. And I mean, it's unlimited before someone comes in the comments and says, is it really unlimited? If I say it is, it is. Um, simple as that, it is unlimited. I haven't seen a cap. There's no mention of a cap. I've never had my speed slowing down before. Um, obviously there's just a massive difference between things. Uh, also, location. Uh, mine is on a windowsill on the top floor of the house, pointed out over a clear open field. The other one is downstairs, pointing over a road. Um, obviously, mine is in a much better location to receive 4G signals and data signals in general, but the one downstairs is obviously down there because it's easier for them to connect to it. Um, so, yeah. You know, location makes a difference as well. I reckon if that one was up here on the windowsill as well, it'd probably go much, much quicker. Um, if you'd like to see that, however, coincidentally, also let me know in the comments because I might consider doing that. Um, however, for now, we're going to leave it where it is. But if you want to see it, then we'll do it. But you have to let me know on that one. Um, but yeah, that is our comparison. As you can see, it is much better as we expected. Um, I wouldn't have expected any other result. Um, and yeah. I encourage you all, if you're fed up with your broadband, your wide standard copper line, terrible countryside internet, to get your hands on a B535 and not a B311 because you can't. Yes, that is all. Hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next one. Feel free to subscribe if you wish and check out the channel because I make plenty of other content besides 4G as well. Um, in fact, out of like all my hundred or so videos, there's only five of which are 4G. So as you can see, there's quite a difference there. Um, but feel free to check it out if you want. It's up to you. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.